Joining us now is E. Choi. He's Professor of Material Science and Engineering at Stanford. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, good to see you. Now your Fred Kavli lecture is titled, Nanomaterials Designed for Energy and Environment. That's right. So what are some of the main themes of your talk? So I will be discussing about using uh, nanomaterial design for energy conversion and storage. For example, for a, a battery technology uh, you can use in your cell phone and laptops and uh, uh, electrical cars and uh, to have a much higher energy density of a battery so the runtime can be longer mm -hmm. using uh, new type of nanomaterials. I will also be discussing about how to use nanomaterials for uh, uh, air filtration and water desalination, for mm -hmm. example. Is that a new approach to filtration for water and air? Um, for uh, uh, filtration and air, to taking out the uh, so-called PM, particle pollutants, mm. uh, PM 2.5, 2.5 micron and below. Yes, this is a new approach for, for doing that. And uh, uh, Asia, such as China and India, um, there are a lot of air pollutant particles ah. uh, right there. You know, how do you come up with a new technology uh, for uh, low air resistance but very high filtration efficiency, that's a challenge. So uh, our new technology will be addressing that. Yeah, well, you know the challenge. Your group has spent some 10 years, the past 10 years, exploring the approach of nanoscale materials design. So what are some of the discoveries you found along the way? For example, um, uh, to make high energy uh, batteries, so uh, the battery can be used for a long time, mm -hmm. um, new batteries chemistry are needed. However, uh, those new batteries chemistries have many problems such as materials volume expansion, breaking, instability of uh, uh, electrolyte interface. And uh, using uh, nanomaterial design, we can solve the mechanical breaking problem, overcoming uh, uh, many problems related to volume expansion. We can stabilize the interface for the batteries charging and discharging to have a long cycle life to make the new batteries chemistry working. That is the key. Now you talk about both energy conversion and energy storage. How important is it to address both of these issues in conjunction with each other? Yes, this uh, energy conversion and storage together, this is very, very important we need to get energy from uh, a clean renewable energy sources such as uh, solar mm -hmm. um, and after we get uh, you know uh, sunlight become electricity we need to store the electricity and then use them in a different uh, application so storing energy is uh, very important as well so nanomaterial design can uh, help addressing uh, both energy conversion and storage issues now, as I mentioned, you're giving the Fred Cavley Distinguished Lectureship. That must be a pretty big honor you were chosen for that. It is. It is a big, big honor for me to uh, give this lecture. Yeah, and looking uh, at the name list of uh, past winners, they are all uh, outstanding scientists. Very it's a good. great honor. Oh, honor to meet you. Yeah. E. Choi, Stanford. Yeah, nice we appreciate you. it. Yeah, Enjoy thanks. the conference. Okay, thank you.